All right, exercise, of course, is an important part of good health, but if you're trying to lose weight, food intake, it's really the key. It is, and Dr. Eric Kusher of Compass Fat Loss is joining us in our Better Kitchen today to talk about how much food matters, and he's here with Chef Joe, who's a fabulous chef, but you've also lost how much weight on this plan? 130 pounds so far. 130 <laughs> pounds. So far. So far. Me. Can we just actually, before we start, do, we have a picture of you, of what you used to look like before. Wow. wow. What a difference. Now, what was your life like that? Joe, what was your life like then? Well, it was good, but I it was good, but it was, I had trouble tying my shoe and <laughs> right, no, doing like simple, things. simple things. It was very, very. Were difficult. you heavy your whole life, or did you gain weight at no, a certain no, point? No, I, no, I, I was uh, heavily into sports when I was younger, so I got my appetite. And being a chef, got to taste everything. You got to taste everything. But I went a little further. I ate more than I should have, okay. and, uh, and it caught up with me. It caught over the years. It just catches Absolutely. up, and before you know it, you're at what weight were you at that? What was your highest weight? 354 pounds. Wow. That's a big, that's big. So you found Compass Fat Loss, and doctor, tell us a little bit about what's different when people come to you, how this plan is, maybe it has a higher success rate than just trying to do something on your own. Well, Carrie, you've talked to us before, and you know that there's no magic bullet for weight loss. So mm. when patients come in, they really need to understand that it's gonna be a multifaceted approach. So we don't leave anything to chance. We take care of every single facet and put the pieces of the puzzle together. When you do that the right way, you don't only lose the weight, but you sustain it for life. Right, and you text or talk to people every single day, so there's accountability, and a big part is food. So you're showing us how you still get to eat exactly. good things. I, best thing about this is I, I've eaten better than I used to eat before because I've cut out all the junk food, okay. all the junk that really is has no nutritional value, mm -hmm. and I'm eating more wholesome food, and it's frankly, it's it's much better. So you brought two recipes with you. Well, let's let's talk about what what we we've got here because it looks absolutely delicious. Okay. Okay. So the first recipe we call um, paprika shrimp, ava nut potatoes. Paprika shrimp, ava nut potatoes. Right, because so, they're made with avocado and cauliflower rather than mashed potatoes, oh, which are high just, glycemic. That's not just an avocado. Right. Okay. There's no. cauliflower in there, and okay. then the second dish is portobello salmon served over cauliflower rice. Oh, the cauliflower rice is a big and thing. And these now. are all on plan, delicious. So and uh, now Joe just tastes the right foods while he's cooking. Okay. <laughs> Where do you get the foods? Do you, do you, do you grocery store. No, you all of our patients buy everything they need at a grocery store. Okay. They prepare them at home. If they eat out at restaurants, they can do just as well as at home. If as long as they know to ask for foods prepared the right way. You got to ask for. You got to make. You would get like sure. simply prepared. Talk, I want a grilled to chicken server. or exactly. grilled salmon. Don't put the stuff on it. So this is, you know, you're not deprivation. You're just cutting out a lot of the processed carbs, the the white starches. It's just eating a lot of more quality fats and proteins. Yes, and it all comes down to number one, choosing the proper foods. Number two, preparing them the right way. Okay. And number three, being prepared throughout the day. So 12 o'clock doesn't roll around and you're wondering what, what am, am I, I going to have eat? for lunch today? You're ready. You you're give ready. us a plan. You're plus, oh, plus absolutely. Fruits. Plus fruits. Plus yes. fruits. I mean, I eat a lot of fruit. I've eaten more fruit now on this diet than I had beforehand, which so is also better. It's not restrictive. So you want to show us how to make something too? Or you just should bring it as your finished product? <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, yeah. All right, so you've got... We basically steam the cauliflower yeah. and then put the steamed cauliflower in with the avocado with some of the oils and pureed it up, put it back into the avocado shells. Then we steam the shrimp, the shrimp and put the shrimp on top and, and you can serve it like that. These are actually two different meals. You wouldn't serve them together. I saw under there there's a steamer. Right. And you can do it right on the you stove. You can do it right on the stove, but Absolutely. like a steamer is a great way to cook a big quantity of food and just steam it and then doesn't Absolutely. have all the extra stuff we Quick don't need. Quick and easy. Okay. Yeah. What, tell me again what this is. It's a, That's uh, avocado and it's a little bit of uh, cauliflower. Which is delicious. some butter, some uh, the, the brain oil, some olive oil, and a little bit of uh, the pink sea salt that we use. So, and the paprika is just sprinkled on top. Okay. Doctor, what about exercise? Exercise is a component that comes in after about six to eight weeks on the program. We actually ask our patients not to do vigorous exercise during the initial phase because it's counterintuitive, but it sets back their metabolism. Okay. So we actually run a DNA test at our office, which allows me to tell a patient exactly what exercises he should be doing. It's a mix of cardio and resistance, uh, frequency of exercise, duration, intensity, and they have choices. If it's a gym rat, we don't keep them from going to the gym. They can go assume their routine. But if it's somebody that really doesn't like working out so much, we have things that we can build at home. Right. We you have, have an little... example with some video. Yeah, sure we do, actually. Okay, so that's uh, that would be just doing some basic resistance. Right. And this is a 20-minute workout that we've put together, and patients can work out right along with me. And they do this twice a week, and they get everything they need to rebuild any muscle that they might have lost during the weight loss program. All right, now the first, first 
40, what do you say, the first 43 days? 43 days. That's really, the, you know, that's a really important part of the plan. You have to do specifically what you're told. It is. It's called a calorie restrictive phase, but Scott, most patients are not hungry on the phase. Okay. And number two, they have a ton of choices in proteins, vegetables, and fruits that they can pick from, and just a few things in each category they need to stay away from, they'll do just great. For more information on Dr. Krischer's approach to weight loss, head to his website. It's compassfatloss.com. Their phone number is 800-735-2281. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Pleasure. Nice to see you. Pleasure.